Hi, it's really been a long time. I think almost like seven months. Really a long time without posting anything. I'm sorry guys, I've been really caught up, but I'm really happy that I'm back here so we can share more content about our business, digital marketing, and personal growth. And in this video, I wanna show you the 10 most important tips for running a successful business. You're gonna learn a lot, and the seventh is gonna really amaze you. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, you know, for more content. So without wasting any time, let's jump in. So tip number one is surround yourself with positive people. Endeavor always to keep negativity out of your life. If you don't like what you're doing, then start planning to change something, you know, do something different if you're not really enjoying what you are doing. Negativity will always pull you down and the more you surround yourself with positive people, the more successful you are or you will be. It's really amazing how much money you can make when you love what you do. All these successful people have really been doing things that they love. The people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs and all these successful successful entrepreneurs. Now, tip number two is fulfill your promise. If you promise to do something, then make sure you do it. One of the biggest downfalls of small businesses is lack of reliability. Most of the times, customers trust you and then you don't fulfill. And the biggest compliment I can really get from a client is when they commend me for doing a great job on budget and on time. So when you do something that you have promised fully and well and proper, you're gonna get really good feedbacks from your customers or your clients or the people that that you're working for. Tip number three is be organized. Take time to organize your records, balance the checkbooks, and clear the desk or tidy up the workshop. Working in a cluttered environment invites more mistakes and inefficiency. No one has ever become successful by being disorganized. And even if I know that you're really so good at what you're doing, but when you're not really organized, I can't doubt what you're doing really. Uh, will I really take it so much, you know? Because I'll, I'll be like, well, why is he doing that? I mean, why can't he first organize himself? And then he gives us this. If any of you in, could be like in a foods business and you're not really organized, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. It's gonna cost you a lot of mistakes, which may really come into poisoning um, um, and other risks to, to the food industry. Whichever kind of industry you're in, please first be organized. And everyone really loves an organized person. If you're not organized, your work will surely tell. Giving you an example is, um, like if you're into designs, submitting a design with confusing naming or incorrect English is really, really not good. It shows that you're not organized. Tip number three is take pride in your appearance. Iron that suit, you know, those overalls, tidy up the office, and put some flowers in the waiting room. People always notice a good thing, a beautiful thing. And if you look good, well, your business will really benefit. It's always good to um, find ways of how you can beautify your work environment to really uh, give you this kind of attraction, a natural attraction, and you'll be like, yeah, I'm going to work. And you really be so much excited every time that you get into your boots and get into your car or whichever kind of means that, that you use for transport to your job and you're like yeah I'm really at work if you're working at home it's okay just keep your table really organized find a way of putting could be some flowers or something you feel that urge to work more so take pride in your appearance Tip number five is compliment people sincerely. Compliment your family, your staff, your customers. If you haven't got anything nice to say to them, just tell them you like them. Just tell them you like the way they talk. You like the way they are presenting their questions or the way they are expressing themselves. They will really feel so good and they, they, you build this kind of a connection between you and your customers or your staff if you really want to run a successful business. It's a great tip, right? Thanking people, complimenting people only make you a better leader and you to really force um, people that you're working with to see some value in you and see some force that keeps them working in love and in passion of what they're doing. Tip number six is treat everyone that walks in the door as a potential customer. Even if someone is just trying to sell you something, one day they may come back to you looking for something to buy, you know. Treat him as a potential customer. You never know one day, they may come back to you looking for something that they never knew you do or could be their need and then, you know, they come back to you. It's really um, an amazing tip. 
Tip number seven is don't worry about lack of money. Money can never be enough. So worrying about how a bee is gonna get paid will not make it get paid faster. Spend more time in implementing simple marketing ideas and figuring out how, um, how your customer, how to get more customers in the door. Instead of worrying about the water bills, the, the power bills, uh, like you know, worrying about the taxes and things like that, just concentrate more on uh, developing the business than looking at um, the bad side of what you're um, needing in the business or lacking or um, need to fuel up. It's really a great tip. It has really helped me to focus more on the business uh, otherwise um, I would have given up and looked at all the things I'm really missing and I'm like oh my god these people already in the industry have gotten all the things so how, what am I even doing what am I doing in this industry I should first get all this stuff so that I can move on with this industry but I tell you you just have to keep going and appreciate what you have as you work more and harder to get what you don't never worry about lack of money tip number eight is be open to new and innovative ideas if you find yourself saying the dreaded words that's the way we've been that's what we've always been doing it and that's the way we're gonna keep doing it perhaps you're not as flexible and as open as you could be an idea could make you a lot of money but maybe in a head of a friend or a staff member or someone who feels that you'd not really be receptive you know if if they really talked anything but someone with a great idea always comes and they will always be feeling so so much burning to voice that thing to you because they know that you may be able to progress in it and if you do then they'll be happy giving you an example of Ray Kroc uh, when a friend reached out to him and he told him that hey this business that you're running is not what it is you're running a real estate business you're not running a hamburg this this um, cheap product you know you can't really get a 1.4 card out of this uh, cheap product so what you have to do is update your business and organize it a little bit more and make it a real estate business and now mcdonald's is one of the biggest brands in the whole world so it's really a great tip to uh, be open to new and innovative ideas they can come from anyone even the least important stuff in the company can really give you something great that can push you forward tip number nine is be completely honest and ethical in everything that you're dealing with it's important to uh, be able to walk down the street with your head held high what i mean with this is find a way of being honest if you tell someone you're gonna do this you're gonna do it this way find a way of making it that same way don't lie don't cheat don't cheat on yourself cheat on someone else is 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 just cheating on yourself because one day or later it will still come back to you and finally tip number 10 is take time to relax and recharge your batteries you don't get a medal if you work non-stop for 10 years you get a uh, hardened arteries ulcers and so it's not about money guys it's about taking time for you it's about taking time to eat well catch up with the friends you're always you know busy to see go out go to some movie go fishing catch up and miss sleep or find a way of um, finding yourself relaxed. A lot of people take uh, like a month break or two months. Just recharge their batteries. Guys, everyone gets tired, right? But the way that you curb your tiredness is what makes you a successful um, business person or creator or entrepreneur. Yeah, I've, I've really made myself relaxed for that seven months. <laughs> I think that's quite too much for uh, most of us, but um, I don't know what it will be to you, but find a way of um, incorporating some relaxing, some rest in you, in your program, in your schedules. So yeah, that's a been a wrap. Um, 10 tips for running a successful business. And I'm sure that if you apply these tips in your business, something will change. You feel joy and you, I know you really give testimonies of success. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you for the love and the care. I know this is a community of entrepreneurs and business people and um, I work from home people and uh, creators, but I just want to give you um, this uh, gift. 
uh, as a bonus, I created a newsletter called Dale Hustler, and it's live on um, LinkedIn. I really post every every Monday and every Friday a post. Please check it out. It's really amazing. The link will be in the description below. So please check it out. It's really an amazing uh, newsletter. For now, we have over 1,300 readers every week. That's really amazing. And I really thank you guys for being part of this community and loving me and supporting me. Please thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up in another video. Bye.